Oh, hi. I love coming out here and being a part of God's creation. The plants and the trees and the sky. You know, it's a place where I feel close to God. It's a place where I can pray. Prayer is so important. It's our way of talking to God. I'm sure you talk to people that you care about, don't you? It shows that you love them and that you're interested. That's why we pray, and that's why I come out here. It's so beautiful, it's so peaceful, it's so quiet. Hey, Big Daddy. Ooh. Oh, hi, Hermie. Hermie, what happened to you? Bad hair day? No, I, I was just trying to get people to notice me more. You know, every time we have these chats, you get all the attention because you're so huge and I'm so itsy bitsy. So uh, I thought I'd make myself stick out a little more. <laughs> well, you certainly stick out. My point exactly. But you know what would really help me stand out and get noticed? Maybe we could get those big shots who make those DVDs to change the title from Max Lucado's Hermie and Friends to Hermie's Max Lucado and Friends. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, yeah. Hey, but your face is plastered all over the DVD cover. Oh. Well, I don't know if a title change would get you any attention. What's important is that you have God's attention. He notices everyone. The Bible says he knows the number of hairs on our heads. And Max, it's certainly getting easier for him to count the hairs on your head. I know what you mean. Anyway, the point is, God is always listening to you. And when you pray, you know he is listening. Good thought. Maybe I could ask God about changing the name of this show. Sure. Hey! You know, Hermie, you can ask God to change the name of the show. His answer might be yes. His answer might be no. Or his answer might be wait. But all you have to do is ask. God always listens to us. Doesn't matter if you're big or small. You know, as Milo the Mantis discovered, God always listens when we pray. It's just that he doesn't always answer at the time or in the way we would expect him to. Well, let's try that out. Uh, dear God, I would like a giant raspberry and cabbage leaf swirled ice cream cone and my own TV show. Hermie, cabbage leaves and ice cream? Ugh. Here's your bingo, stringo, wingo, and zingo sandwich, Wormy. Named after my number one customers, the water beetles. Well, at least they used to be my number one customers. Ever since the Green Album went platinum, they're always on tour. You must do great business here. No, not really. First of all, the snack shack needs repairs. And I really gotta get more customers in here, or I'm gonna go out of business. I keep trying to think. What can I do? What can I do? You know, maybe we could have a big giveaway. 
Maybe the water beetles could put on a benefit concert or, or sign autographs, yeah. Yeah, maybe we could freeze the pond and have ice skating, yeah. No, 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 we could get the ants to do a reenactment of the Battle of Ant Hill. Wait, wait, wait a minute, a dance show. Beach blanket bug bears, huh? Yeah, what do you think? I don't think the words bug and bash should ever go together. Really? Well, what do you think, Hermie? Mm-hmm. I think this raspberry and cabbage flavored ice cream is incredible. This snack shack has been in my family for generations. It's been here forever, and I'm not gonna let anything close this place down. There's a storm coming, S-T-O-R-M, storm. Okay, well, maybe there's one thing. Is it a bad one? Look at here. This high's pushing against this low. It's causing a big old temperature shift. It'll affect these areas bringing high winds. W-I-N-D-S, winds. So the forecast for today is... Good golly, Miss Molly. Busby is leaving the building. B U I. I've got to save what I can. Milo, we need to get out of here. All right. Okay, what should I take? Let me see. Let me see. My melon masher. No. No. Dad's donut holer. No. Grandpa's griddle greaser. Aha! This. An ice cream scooper. This is not just any ice cream scooper. This was my great-grandpa's super-duper scooper. Come on, let's go. Just a minute, I'm almost done. What's this flavor called again? Windstorm! Windstorm. I like that name. It's bold and it packs a punch. The flavor's swirling around in my mouth. No, Hermie, it's a real windstorm. Let's go! Abandoned shack! Well, that was close. Hang on to something large. Okay, now it's getting serious. The wind is dying down. I bet the snack shack is still there. Oh, Milo, wait! What am I gonna do? It's gone! The snack shack that's been in my family for years! Gone! It's gone! 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 I'm sorry, Marlo. Yeah, real sorry. Okay, no time to be sorry. There has to be a solution. What am I gonna do? Okay, I know. Maybe I could find an old shoebox set up shop in there, or, or organize a search team to find the old building, or I could sell insurance. I know what you can do. Yes, yes, what is it? Tell me. You can talk to God. Talk to God? Sure. You can pray. Pray? Tell God what happened. He'll help you. He loves to help. Hmm. What's that going to cost? Nothing. How much time will it take? As much as you want. Well, okay. See, that sounds interesting, but there's one problem. I, I don't know how to pray. You don't know how to pray, but you're a praying mantis. Shh, I know, I know. Yes, please. Shh, shh. See, I never really understood what that praying part of my name was about. You really don't know how to pray? It's easy. All you have to do is talk to God. <laughs> 
I stand up? Do I kneel? Do I talk fast? Do I talk slow? What's the deal? Close my eyes or talk out loud? Should I show off? Should I act all humble or proud? I'm a mantis who just can't pray. I try to think of something really smart and important to say. But everything always comes out cliche. Cause I'm a mantis who just can't pray. I've got it. I'll bet God's real busy, and that's why he hasn't heard my prayers. I'll pray real fast so he can hear it all. Dear God, please help me with my situation. Put the shack back, back where it was, and draw lots of customers to the shack so I don't have to close it up again. Amen. Milo, you don't have to pray fast. God isn't too busy for you. Take your time. Do I mumble? Do I cheer? If I don't or if I do, he'll know I'm sincere. Go up high like near the clouds. Maybe that will make me stand out apart from the crowd. But I'm a mantis who just can't pray. I try to think of something really smart and important to say. But everything always comes out cliche. Cause I'm a mantis who just can't pray. I got it. God's real smart. So I'll need to use big words so he'll understand me. Dearest God, thouest art the grandest lordeth of all the world this pleaseth assist me with my shack of snack so it will produceth delicacies for the garden community ameneth you don't have to use fancy words milo just talk to god like you talk to us it's like talking to a friend uh, he's a man that's who just can pray Tries to think of something really smart and important to say But everything always comes out cliche Cause I'm just a mantis who'd like to pray Dear Lord, I hope you can hear me. Please help me with my snack shack. Because I, I don't know what to do. I really need it back. Thank you. Amen. Oh, it didn't work. What do you mean? God didn't answer. There's no shack. He didn't hear my prayer. You can't always hear God, and he doesn't always answer right away. Sometimes his answer is yes, and sometimes his answer is no. Sometimes his answer is... Wait, it, it's not time yet, but we know he's listening. It's called faith. Milo, see that rainbow out there? That's a sign of one of God's promises that he made to Noah, never to flood the earth again. He keeps his promises, and he promised to help us if we ask, and he'll help you. Just wait and see. Oh, man, he makes rainbows too? Come on, Wormy. Someone who makes rainbows like that definitely wouldn't notice me, let alone stop all his important stuff to listen to what I have to say. But you are one of his most important things, Milo. Right up there with veggie dip, fruitcake, and windstorm ice cream. Well, those are important, too. I'd like to think so, but my snack shack and I can't be high on God's list. I mean, it doesn't take much to see that well, the problems of three little bugs don't amount to a hill of beans in this big old world. Sure they do. God cares for everyone, and he sends you help all the time. Maybe it's by seeing that rainbow and remembering his promises or the encouragement from friends like us. God will answer your prayer some way. You just have to pay attention. Milo, pay attention. Milo. That's it! I need to get God's attention. Certainly a little bug like me is hard to see. Now, how can I get God to notice me? No, Milo, you're missing the point. God is paying attention and he hears your prayer. He doesn't always answer you right away, but sometimes he might send a sign. Oh! Hmm. What 
could I do? Milo, did you see that? God sent you a sign. Literally sent you a sign. What can I do to get God's attention so he'll send me some help? Phew, that was some storm. Okay, everyone, don't panic. I'm with the Bug Emergency Management Agency. I heard there was some kind of problem here. Jump and juniper bugs, I had no idea. What happened? Was it big bully Coker? Let me at him. Let me at him. I'll send in the ants and Tilly cries uncle. Well, that reminds me of the time we captured that big hey, green hey, bully. Hey, 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 hey. Antonio, Antonio, we know the story. We even bought the book. Huh? Here, let me sign that. Oh. That's it! Signs! We need to put up signs all over the garden. God is everywhere, right? So we need to put up signs all over the garden to get God's attention. Can you help me do that? Well, I was sent here to help, so I'm on it. You don't need signs. Milo, wait. What should these signs say? How about, Milo needs help? Wow, you have such a way with words. I've written a book, you know. Here you go, Milo. I did it all myself. Milo needs help. Hey, that's help. H-E-L-P, help. Thank you very much. Everybody's a critic around here. All right, okay, are the signs in place? Yes, sir. Mission accomplished. All right, here we go. Ah, uh, God, Milo here. Listen, can you please just take a look down here for a moment? God, look, I know you're busy, but could you give me your attention, please? Hello? Is this thing on? Hello? Hello? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. It didn't work. Milo? God answers in many ways. He's always listening to you. He sends help in many different ways. You just have to look around. Well, I still don't see my snack shack. <laughs> Skater, what are you doing? I was passing by and... <laughs> I saw the signs, but I couldn't read them from way up high. <laughs> it must be my eyes. Wait, that's it! Skeeter, you're brilliant! <laughs> I am? He, he is. is. I have another idea, and I need your help. Do you think you can do it? Oh, boy. No, no, Wormy. Allow me. <clears throat> Oh, boy, here we go again. Well said. Ha! Hmm. Huh. All set. Skeeter, time for takeoff. Now go as high as you can. Fly, Skeeter. Fly like the wind. I won't let you down, wow. sir. <laughs> <laughs> I did it! I did it! I'm flying! I'm flying! Yay! 
keep flying. Well, certainly God can read the sign now. It's too high in the sky for him to miss it. Skeeter, make a few loops above the clouds. No problem, sir. Look, up in the sky. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's a disaster waiting to happen. <laughs> Great show! Certainly God is seeing this! <laughs> wow! These binoculars are great! I can see right into Skeeter's mouth! Incoming! <laughs> uh, mission accomplished, sir! Uh, did it work? Shh. I think I hear him. Hey, does God's voice sound like an angry bear growling from inside a large water balloon? Uh, that was, uh, me. <laughs> My stomach makes that sound when I'm hungry. <sighs> it didn't work. All that trouble and nothing. But I'm not gonna give up. No siree. Okay, come on, focus, focus. I've gotta get God's attention. All right, All right what am I gonna do? What to do, what to do? I got it! Marching bands, yes! No, no, too annoying. Interpretive dance. Nah, it's too artsy. You don't have to do anything, Milo. God heard your prayer. Just because he didn't respond immediately, doesn't mean he didn't hear you. He loves you. He's always close to you. Close to me? Yes, that's it. You're absolutely right, Wormy. Thank you, thank you. Listen, meet me by the raspberry bushes. I'm gonna get close to God. I think he's finally got it, Wormy. He got it, Hermie. Nope, but it's gonna be fun. Come on, let's get a good seat. I'd like to thank everyone who helped build this launching pad. Today is truly a great day. For today, I will get close to God. This, this is, is one, one small step, step for mantis, mantis. One, one giant, giant slingshot, slingshot for mantis kind. I can't look. This isn't going to work. Five, four, three. Good luck, Milo. Two, Have a safe landing. One. Landing? Wait a minute. Zero. I forgot. But do you think you'll get close to God? Oh, I'm sure of it. I did it! I did it! It's beautiful! God, about that snack shack. I know that you're kind of busy. I'm just a small little mantis, but I was hoping... Uh-oh. <gasps> I can't look, but you'll miss the best part. Did it work? Did you get close to God? What did you see? I saw 
I saw another storm's coming. A storm? storm. That's right, a storm, S-T-O-R-M, a big storm. It's coming right in this direction. High pressure, high winds, and whoa, here we go again. Well, that's it. I've done everything I can think of. I just can't get God's attention. All that work and what do I have? A launching pad, some signs, some fruit. Hmm. A launching pad, some signs, and fruit? A launching pad, some signs, and fruit? Wait a minute. That launching pad could be the store's foundation. No signs. They could become walls. W-A-L-L-S, walls. And with all that fruit, Milo, you can open up the snack shack again. You're right. This is everything I need to rebuild the snack shack. Well, pinch my cheeks and call me a monkey's uncle. Milo, God did provide everything you needed. Oh, oh you're a monkey's uncle. It's an expression. You see, Milo? You didn't need to hear God's voice to know he was there. He was working hard for you all along. You just needed to have patience. Well, it wasn't what I expected, but it was exactly what I needed, when I needed it. God speaks in many ways, Milo. Well, I knew what God was doing all along. I was just wondering when the rest of you were going to catch on. And you forgot one other thing that God sent to help me. What's that, Milo? He sent me friends. Hmm. Thank you. Well, let's not just stand around. There's work to be done here. Hey, give me a hand over here. Grab this hand. Anyone seen time? We put up a door right here. Should we do that, or should we put that over here? Right, two, three, build. You've got it, boys. Where, where's that tool belt? I like that thing, man. Wow. It's even better than before. Ooh, I almost forgot. Thank you, God, for my new snack shack. Thank you for hearing my prayer, and I learned my lesson. From now on, I'll be a praying mantis. Amen. Oh, that sounds great. Let's celebrate. Windstorm ice cream cones for everyone. <laughs> A grand reopening, and look at the crowd! Well, if you'll excuse me, it's time to get to work. Hey, we found this ice cream scoop. Is this yours, Milo? Thanks. Yes, what can I do? You're welcome, Milo. Say, this is a nice new building, God, but um, what did you do with the old snack shack? Oh, I'm putting that to good use. Dear God, we need a place to live. Can you help us? You've been praying that same prayer for months, Annette. God doesn't hear you. You're just a little ant. Oh! <laughs> Have one with a pool? Adam! <sighs> Sorry.
Milo learned that God always hears you when you pray. He doesn't always answer right away or in the way that you would expect, but God always knows best. And believing that He is working even when you can't see Him working is called faith. Hey, Max. Hermie, you got rid of the wig. Good call. Hey, you noticed. Yeah, <laughs> I don't need a wig to draw attention. I just need to have faith that God is always paying attention to me, and I can talk to him anytime. That's a great lesson to learn. Yep, I know God heard my prayers. In fact, he's about to answer in three, two, one. What? Hermes, Max, Lucado, and friends. <laughs> what do you think, Max? But I... Uh, Max, could you slide over a little? Uh, you're hogging the whole bench. 